Hi, what do you want? What here again for another episode of Football Manager 2020, where it is FA Cup weekend away at Maidenhead in round two of the FA Cup for a place in the all important third round. Now, we are away from home, but it is against the team a league above us, um, so it'll be a very difficult game. Um, we're certainly not the favourites. Um, and if we don't win, we barely get any money because there won't be a big gate to uh, divvy up. Um, so we need to make sure we get at least a draw, get them back to our place and try and do a number on them there. Uh, we are suffering a couple of uh, injuries, uh, sorry, a couple of bans. And uh, our side is kind of a little out of kilter. So let's uh, let's bring the, the right players in. So we'll bring our right back in. Uh, we'll bring Graham in at left back. And Nelson will still play because of the injury, uh, the ban on Scott Wilson. Um, but he will play on the right side instead of the left. So our entire back four is on yellow cards. Mullen is going to play because of the ban uh, for Jack Hunter. Um, we're then going to change out Fennec for Herdman. Uh, and Waddington is going to play on the left side. We'll bring Danielson in. Danielson Cavallio. He will go on the right side. And then we will go with Chris Thackeray, um, Ollie Scott, uh, Lewis Horner, Lewis Hawkins, and Adam Wrightson. There you go. We are ready to go. <coughs> So as I said, they are a better outfit than us. They do have some very good players. Uh, Winito Lopez is someone that I was looking at uh, earlier. And, you know, in terms of we've done some scouting of him, he is the player we would we would want to sign. Um, but he went to Cardiff and was sort of obviously never in with a thought of, of coming to us. Um, Assistant will give the team talks. There we go. Let's play. See, I'm not expecting them to do much. I'm expecting to concede at least two, if not three goals. Possibly even more if things go badly. Uh, but if we can keep them down to two, I think we've got a chance. I think we'll, we we can maybe muster a couple of goals potentially in the game. Uh, if, if the front three perform. So we're just allowing one of their better players to progress without challenge and give it to their star player without challenge and let them score without a challenge oh dear good chance Cavalier Ball in, oh, done collects. The ball was very far away there. That was fortunate. Wonder if maybe we need to push our defensive line up a bit. Danger there is that we need to Lopez gets in behind and really makes us pay. Let's try and get back into it. Oh, it's a poor throw. Get him on the ball. Go on. I mean, who was that to really? David forward the Met to Wallington to Mullen. Evans forward. Herdman straight at the keeper. It's not really one of those games for Herdman, is it? Mullen. Oh, 
Oh, well done, Danielson. Getting advantage of the lack of control from their player. Out wide the ball. In the middle. And Herdman has scored it. It's not going to be one of those days for Herdman. He is going to score. And we're back in it. I might like stay attacking, actually. Yeah, we seem to be getting better. Better run of the ball that way. Um, running on towards half time. And over the top. So we might go in even at half time. That would be nice. Something to build on. Two minutes of injury time. Oh, corner to them. We need to look best straight into the hands of Hemming. Challenge Matt knocks it forward, ball is in and he scores it. He scores it with 2 1 up at half time. Come on, through him with the challenge. Matt picks it up and it launches one forward. Ball, couple of touches, keeper, no way. Wonderful. As I said, I think they'll score at least two, possibly three. Um, well, I know they'll certainly score two. They, they might get three and possibly more. So let's uh, not count our chickens too quickly at the moment. the ball corner free header straight at the keeper David back to Hemming and we're not playing wide so let's go here and in possession let's Let's go wide and in transition distribute to the flanks. Evans did get there, Lopez is in. Good save, Hemming. It's a free for all. Free kick. Got one on Devitt, I think. Ball is in, ball is in. No! That was the chance. There we go, distribution out of the flanks. Ball has got it. It's in. Herdman. Oh, what a save. What a save by Dunn. Nielsen has it on the bottom. Put the devil and Rodden messing about with it. Come on, guys. Good tear coming. Now, there's no point doing it like that when there's no one there. Rope is. Only good challenge, Danielson get in again. No, nope. Grant and a goal. There we go, the equaliser. <sighs> so, guaranteed them two, said they'd probably score three. I think we do need another one. Between two defenders, that's not good enough. Herdman, ball, smile picks it up, look back we're done. Just 
Sun frame. For value. Oh, he's lost it. Give it to Reese. No, over the top. And Juanito Lopez is in. We've pushed up too high and he's messed it up. I think we're going to go back in here and distribute the target man down the middle. Actually, I'd play it with the playmaker. Cavalio. Oh, just not enough whip. Herdman has it to Warrington. Out wide the ball. Come on, get in the middle, Herdman. Mets is fouled. Penalty. Come on, Herdman. Well, you're normal way the kick two holds. You're right. On the bottom corner, what a penalty. And there's the third. We said they'd score two, possibly three, likely three, and possibly more. But at the moment, we're ahead. Oh, good fair keeper. Lopez is in. I was about to say there's only one result. There was, but it wasn't the one I thought it would be. <laughs> okay, let's um, look at what we can change here. So if we brought off Graham, who's looking a bit tired. So Ollie Scott. Can we just put him in a support function? Herdman's going to be support. Support. And attack. If, um, if that's enough for now, let's do that. Team instruction wise, possession. Waste a bit of time. Play for set pieces, but shoot on site. We'll start going up there. Okay, so we have the ball, but don't give it away. Mets has got it, it's in the middle, Mets again, Herdman, oh, it's in the key back. That was the chance to put the tie beyond, beyond debate. David forward, Cavalio, Waddington forward, ball. Ball has it, he's in. Shoot straight at the keeper. Good header by Devitt. Cavalio forward, Mets is in behind. Oh, and a free corner. That's lovely. More let me take. Mets has it. Cavalio, good take by the keeper. What a lovely angle that was from the end of goal. Um, so it's going to be four minutes, so let's um, make the substitution. Who's going to come off next? Who sevens? Lewis Horner. Nelson's also picked up a yellow card. Wellington's going to come off for Hawkins. Hawkins is going to play box to box. Cavalio can then be Mitsala. Oh, 
that's it. And the team instructions, we've got two and a half to go. Get back when we lose possession. Wrong shape and in possession. Lots of time wasting. Let's slow it down. Let's go up the flanks. Come on guys, a minute to hold on. Lopez is in. And he scored it. the way it goes that would have been oh he's offside anyway but uh, that would have been typical if that had gone in but we've got a draw so I'm absolutely thrilled with that that is really good we um was fairly even game um and after going one nil down I think that's a, a, a real positive so well done boys uh hand over to assistant there Give the, the team talk and the team talk there, and what a result that was! Um, just had an unbeatable flag come up in the corner through Steam to say that we we've obviously hit some form of achievement. Must be ten in a row, or something up without losing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, um, five of them cup games. Wow. Uh, right, that takes us into December. Uh, let's have a look when our replay is. Nelson and Devitt are going to miss out on that game. Uh, schedule wise. in there on the Wednesday and we'll find out soon enough who we're going to play against if we win of course let's <laughs> not look beyond that replay it's still a tough game um, right so let's uh, look to it it's Sunday important dates coming up Hereford at home One of all, of all of our games, but we don't win manager of the month because we only had two games that month. Um, we dropped to ninth, but we do have a game in hand. So we win that, we go back into the playoff spots. This is a key month for us. Um, I think there's a few games that we would look to to win. Uh, in in the in the league, um, Sunderland are into the next round. That's great because we look they're, they're kind of one of the lower league sides that we wouldn't mind drawing. Um, if we got through, schedule wise, let's have a look at what how many players they had in uh, fans they had in the ground that day, and that was on the telly. Fourteen thousand. That would do us nicely. That would be a, a lump a lump of cash. Um, we're just going to make sure we get past Maidenhead. Um, a plus. Unbelievable job, and you clearly put the smile on the faces of every single supporter. Long may it last. Uh, right, so if we could get into the third round and get someone, God, they would be able to do us wonders potentially. Um, right, it's Monday. Third round draws coming up. I think we might watch it. Yeah, I think we might watch it. So we're going to probably run over on this stream, but uh, uh, on this recording, sorry. Um, Easy when predicted the next game. Yeah, probably means we'll struggle. Um, here we go. Uh, the match against Maidenhead has been moved to Tuesday the 10th for live television coverage. We'll get 35,000 in, in, in TV revenue. So. Fixtures, that's the only game that's on. Clock 
kind of be the only draw, no, there's plenty of draws. Alright. Yeah, little TV symbol. It's the only one that's going on the tally. I'm pleased. And then, of course, if we were to win that game. We get 54,000 as well. So the game itself is probably worth about 100 grand. Uh, the draw for the English Cup uh, is made today. And it's absolutely big team that we want. So the excitement getting me back from my um, call of nature. And let's watch this automatic draw and cross our fingers. We're in a weird draw first and foremost. And ideally against a fantastic big team. Holding my breath. <laughs> oh, we don't want that. Great, let's get rid of some chaff. I mean, there's only 20 Premier League teams. Two of them are gone so far. Wolves away, take that. Oh, Liverpool. Southampton would take. Nope. Barnsley. Mighty Night, come on. No, West Brom, that's disappointing. And City have gone as well. Chelsea wait. There we go. The forest. Oh, oh, happy with that. Happy with that. Former European champions, Nottingham Forest. We will take that any day of the week. Wonderful. I mean, I would have preferred Newcastle away, but um, given what was left, uh, Arsenal would have been better. Um, there's not a lot Arsenal and Newcastle at the minute. Yeah, Newcastle would have been great to get. Spurs would have been great. This was probably about the fourth best result I could have had, I think. And West, West Ham was also maybe fifth. Oh, no. Yeah, Newcastle were there. Yeah. So Newcastle, Arsenal, Spurs, West Ham. I would have quite happily took Nottingham Forest as the, the fifth best that was left in it. So we are very, very pleased with that draw. Wonderful. Oh, exciting. Exciting, I can barely wait. So, we've of course got to beat Maidenhead yet, but uh, then it'll kick in here. It will kick the Kidderminster game out of the way. So, um, tension away from the cup for a couple of games. Um, we are, of course, going to run over on this episode because uh, of my excitement around the FA Cup. But we're going to take Hereford on um, at home and they are not playing particularly well. Then we've got our key rival match away at Spennymoor, uh, followed by the Maidenhead replay. Um, then our FA Trophy game and then back into the league again. 20, um, Kings Lane in the 18th, Brackley in 20th and Gloucester up in the 6th. Okay, let's uh, press on. Uh, Nottingham Forest, yeah, of course. Don't have for that. Let's go. Let's go, 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 go. Uh, Glasby Hereford. Uh, let's just jump quickly into the schedule because we should be able to go into here and see that we are missing Michael Nielsen, uh, which isn't necessarily a problem. Right, so from the squad we've got a decent lineup. 
you can go you can go you can go you can swap there you can swap there you can maybe go there and then what else have we got here Jack Hunter Three. You can come in from Mullen. He's a bit tired. Um, Lewis Horner. Scott Wilson should be in the side. Um, I should come in for Nelson. I think that's it. I think that's the the, the starting lineup. Herdman's a little bit tired, but we'll we'll play him in. Um, maybe we won't actually. Maybe we're gonna rest him. We're gonna drop him then. Hopefully, he doesn't get too upset. Um, let's go. Let's go. So we are gonna overrun. We're almost at. Uh, we're approaching time now. So hopefully we won't overrun by much more than five minutes or so. Let's get after them. Attacking from the start. So on paper, given the form etc, we should be winning this fairly easily. It never works like that in Football Manager. So I thoroughly expect that we'll end up with a dodgy point or possibly even a dodgy defeat. I don't care because if we get past Maidenhead, we've got Nottingham Forest away, and that is huge. Scott Wilson in the book already. Time to ease off on the tackles. Close Jordan Nicholson down. Well, that is a dull first half. There we go. Get the ball in the middle, Fennec over the bar. And that brings the end to a really boring first half. Good. Hand over to assistant. Go. Cool. Of course, we can bring Herdman on if uh, if we feel the need, but uh, what we might do is look at pushing everyone up a bit, going to the flanks and playing people wide. Evans, that was a bit of a clapper. Looks like you're telling off. Yeah. <sighs> Mets is in the boot. It was a bit of a book. Book. There we go. Come on, guys. Get a ball on someone's head. Fennick. Oh, Wilson. Get the ball back in. Waddington. Corner again. Come on, someone attack it. Good attack, well done Wilson. And that is weak. That is really weak defending. So Mets for Fennec Herdman. Should 
the value is not playing particularly well. I don't know why he set his ball, but let's uh, go with Salah. Confirm. Come on, guys. Get the goal. Shoot on sight. Not long left. Ball is in, ball is in, ball is in. And he scored, he's won it, 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 he's won it. Balanced team instruction. <laughs> Changes back. Uh, shoot on sight still, we'll do that. In transition. We'll still do all of that. Actually, we'll not. We'll put it out to the flanks now. Out of possession. I think we might drop back a little bit. Condense the play. And of course, we're going to time waste. Slow the game down a bit. Cool. So they could come back and equalise from this, but we just need to pray that we're good enough. Corner, it's away somewhat. There we go. Good value in the ball, ball to win it. Let's put it wide. Right, we've got a couple of more subs left, so we can bring off the Nielsen Cavalio for Hawkins and we can bring Mullen on for Waddington. And then we'll switch that there. He's happy. This Hawkins can go box to box and Jack Hunter can go box to box. You can go support. You can go defend. Right. Confirm. Come on. Four and a half minutes to go. Three. Three to go. Let's hang on to the wing. Let's hang on to the wing. Good challenge. Who is that? Hawkins. Just over two minutes left. Free header. Good save, Hemming. Wasn't that free actually. There was a defender in front of him, but let him get up above him, uh, ahead of him. Um, Team instructions. We don't want to counter press. Slow the pace down. There we go. A minute to go. That should be time. Hawkins. Over the ball, but that should be full time. It should be a win. Should be a win. Should be a win. Thank God. Right. So another win and that should be us back in the playoffs. So as I said, it was always going to be one of those that on paper was really easy, but in actual fact, the game was going to be difficult. Um, we did win it. We are back up the sixth, which is great news. So we will get through to our usual Friday and we'll call that the end of the episode and again apologies for the overrun, um, perhaps not as big as I thought it was going to be but still overrun um, and all because I wanted to watch the third round draw the FA Cup. Um, next up we've got two key games coming up so we've got our rivals in Spennymoor and then we have that FA Cup match. Potential issue. Let's 
Something to resolve. Yeah, okay. Um, fine. Okay, um, I might end the episode before this ridiculous press conference. And then we'll come back after the press conference. Uh, otherwise, we will significantly overrun. So thank you so much for joining. Hope you're enjoying the series so far. And this particular season with uh, Blythe Spartans, where it's going rather well so far. Um, so I'm quite pleased with that. It will uh, come to an overprop at some point where we have a dip in form. Uh, but hopefully that won't be for a while yet and hopefully it won't be too long lasting um all that's left to say is thank you for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button come back for the next episode until that time bye bye